I read uh, <coughs> Autobiography of a Yogi by Paramahansa Yogananda 25 years ago or something. And he said, he said in there, I remember this statement, stuck with me because it rained true. He said, there's more, we have more electric, we have enough electricity in one gram of flesh to light up the entire city of Chicago. That's what he said. Now, obviously, I don't understand exactly, you know, what that means, and he may not either. He just felt intuitively to say that. But he's pointing to how much power <coughs> is locked inside this little body, being. And then I've said before that Nelson Mandela and or Marianne Williamson said that um, our deepest fear isn't that we're inadequate. It's that we're more powerful beyond measure. You see? Because this world doesn't support one who's in the height of their being. It doesn't support it. It supports you. People like you if you got problems and, oh, can you help me and all that. They like that. Makes them feel good. Like, yeah, I'll help you. See? If you come strong, not egotistically, not, you're not trying to be an alpha male. You're just, you're just being yourself. See, people get intimidated over that. They feel insecure. Because they know they can't handle you. See, they can't control you. They can't manipulate you. You don't need them. So it's like, you know, they can't, they can't, you're not going to, they can't feed off your energy and suck you dry because something they know somehow subconsciously that you're not having that. You're, you're encouraging them to step into their highest self and manifest that. No matter if you say you don't have to say those words, but your presence is doing that. It's like you don't have time for anything else. Because what else? What else? What? What are we going to do? And you've already tasted how it felt. This is important. You've tasted. It's like we live two lives. We live one life where it's kind of debaucherous and we're just kind of like, you know, stuck in ego and stuck in bad habits and have no power, no life force. Then we go to the next level at some point. Hopefully. Most people don't actually. But those watching this channel, there's something in you that's inspiring to be in your highest version of yourself. Otherwise, you wouldn't, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't be magnetized to this channel. So that means the possibility and potential and capacity and likelihood is there. It's a question of time. So you got to be patient, you see. So we, we taste this <laughs> negative life and then we get to experience what it feels like to be in in the height of our being and have our power that's good that's a blessing you want to experience both I, i'm i'm not sorry for anything i've done in my life like all the stupid mistakes and everything that has to be there man otherwise you're not going to be able to relate to me if from the time i was born i was some kind of just awakened avatar and I just say, look, you just, just be at peace. Just love everybody. How are you going to relate? See? So God makes it like this. It's a divine mistake that he makes us be on the, on the wrong side of the track, so to speak, for a little while. So that then we can feel how it feels to transcend that. So then we have actual real experience and knowledge to share with somebody else. Somebody else can feel like, oh yeah, this person knows what, we're, what I'm talking about. You know? It's like you're not going to some <clears throat> Catholic uh, priest, maybe, who, who just uh, was thrown into that because of their family and they never experienced anything, or some monk or something. Those people, I never really received help from them. I needed <clears throat> to talk to somebody that knew what I was talking about, that actually had been there and understood power of habit and how it can keep one stuck see i need to talk to those people so i'm one of those people now how to unleash this power so if we if we have all this power why then we don't feel it like where's the power at like you're telling me the power is here but like where's it at like i feel you know sluggish and <clears throat> you know i have these um mood swings and my mind's not sharp enough and I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in these low level habits the, the female I'm obsessed with them and I want them to look at me and I don't even know why like why do I want them to look at me I, I really don't want them to look at me but yet the tendency is still there saying please look at me 
Like, what's that about? See, that keeps, keeps one stuck. So, through knowledge, through intuition awakening, we start to see through those things. These habits start, start to dissolve. There's so many habits, so many. Jesus, where do I start? Alcohol and weed and nicotine and caffeine and food and sex and masturbating and PMO and dopamine addiction. That, that bleeds through into all kinds of things. Overworking, obsessed with making money, everything. You know, scrolling on the internet, it's just everything. You got you to gotta check yourself and, and do introspection and self-analysis and write down all this stuff. Don't just keep it in your head. It's, it's, it's too abstract. You got to write it down. Write all the ways down that you're being small and that's sucking your power. Ask God for help to give you the clarity to see. See, a lot of times we can't even see it. That's why we some, sometimes we need somebody to help <coughs> uh, work us through this so that, that um, they can help us see what, what we can't see. Because when you're in it, when you're in the muck, you can't see it. If you can see it, you can get out of it. <laughs> so we need, to, <laughs> we need to do this inventory and write down, how am I playing small? What are my habits that I'm doing that's keeping me stuck? And then when we start to look at it, we start to... We start to see, you see, it's not rolling around in some dark cranny in our subconscious mind. It's, it's like here and it's like, okay, now I can look at it. And then maybe you're going to, you can try to get rid of it and stop doing it. Oh, then maybe you find you can't. Then, then you surrender. Then your spirituality can get born and you start asking some power that's greater than your mind some universal power. You can call it God. If you have a religion, Jesus, Buddha, Krishna, Sufi, whatever. You start asking this higher power to help give you power. But you can't, this, you're not going to feel this, <clears throat> this higher power if you're still there trying to run stuff. That, that's the benefit of surrender. I made a video a long time ago, like surrender, I don't know, surrender's good, <laughs> something. It's like one of my old videos, but I try to talk about that. So then you start to get this power that starts to give you strength to overcome these habits and stop doing these habits. When you stop doing the habits, you start to feel more strength. You, your inner strength increases. Then you want more. You get addicted. You get addicted to being your highest self. That's a healthy addiction. Don't worry about that. You want that addiction. That should be your only addiction. Let all the other addictions collapse into this one main addiction, which is... you. You want to be in touch with, with the highest version of yourself. Then this power starts to come out. You, don't, you, don't, you can't cultivate this power. You can't go learn, you know, pay somebody a bunch of money and they're going to teach you techniques and how to do that. No, how, how are you going to do that? You don't see dogs going to some dog class and learning how to be a dog. They're just natural. They're just, you know, they're a dog. Hmm. We're spiritual in our nature. It's natural. We got to stop doing all these things, and then all of a sudden, the magnetism is going to come out, and we're going to we're going to we're going to have some power, which is a hundred times, thousand times more powerful than any techniques you're going to learn. I feel a little bad for the guys that uh, <laughs> they're just hell bent on learning all these techniques: how to be an alpha male, how to be a high value man. Man, you're beyond high value. I made a video about that. Like, forget about high value. There's no value. There's no, you're beyond the concept of value. When you really start to get in touch with this power, how are you going to, you can't name it. Everything starts getting synergized. Your energies, they get concentrated and you just, you just do whatever you're supposed to do. You say the right things at the right time. You start attracting, forget, you don't need to learn the law of manifestation. When you're in that power, that, that's part of the deal. That's part of the package. You manifest, but you're not trying to. You're not, you, it's like you're giving your life up. You get what you're supposed to get. You trust existence. It brought you here. It's going to take care of you. If we get out of the way, if we stay in the way, then we're going to have to learn all these techniques and, and do this and that. And then at some point, that's not going to work anymore. And then maybe that person can start to tune on what I'm sharing now. But we got to like try all that because the mind likes the easy way. Can I just pay you $10,000 and you be my, my personal coach for a month and... Um, 
tell me exactly what to say now. I want to find a girl. So, and they'll, they'll tell you how to dress, how to wear your hair, what clothes to wear, give you some good pickup lines, show you how to hold your shoulders back, take some kind of, I don't know, energy pill, teach you all this stuff. How long do you think you can keep that act up? See, everybody's acting. So many actors out here, and, they don't, and we don't know it. Nobody knows they're acting. <laughs> People say, you want to go to a movie? I say, I just go to town, man. I watch the movie every day. It's like, uh, it's a funny movie. It's cool. I was, part, I was the actor, too, for a while. I didn't know. So we got to do all that. So it's not about shame or guilt or, or anything. It's about recognition, awareness. When, when there's awareness and consciousness, that's when alchemy and trans, transformation can happen. But if it stays unconscious, how can you transcend something and you don't even know the root causal situ factors of what's, what, uh, what's causing the problem? So God uses YouTube and there's a few people out there that can share a strong message. And if you're ready, you'll find the videos. People worrying about the algorithm, please. God controls the algorithm controls everything you know this, this, is what, this is what I want to say so yeah let me know let me know how that flowed all right